welcome back to another video so today i am doing a must-haves slash favorites um video so i've basically sorted them out into like my favorite brands and then my must-haves from each of those brands so i've got so much stuff on my table right now loads of different brands i've got enchanted decals i've got brillbird amazon aliexpress hobbycraft moira navy pro tools willow sparkle supplies like i've got so much stuff on this desk so make sure you get yourself a drink because i've got mine because it's going to be a long one and you're going to need fuel to get yourself through this video so i'm going to start off with aliexpress isn't a coffee just the best thing ever when it's like really cold and secondly i've got a coffee because my, my room is absolutely freezing so you know so i'm going to grab the aliexpress stuff and then i'll go through what i've got like on what my favorites are from there okay so i will try to link everything that i mentioned in this video in the description box if i do miss anything it's one of two reasons one i can't find it it's unavailable for any reason or two i forgot that i've even put it in the video <laughs> because a lot of the times i do the description i upload a video like two weeks after i've filmed it and then I genuinely forget what's in the video. And I don't know if you've ever tried to watch yourself for like half an hour. It is not fun, so I'd rather not do it. So I try to remember what's in it and sometimes I forget. So if there's anything you want to link to that's not in the description box, just pop me a comment and I'll see if I can find it. If not, obviously I'll let you know that's why it's not there. So first of all, I'm going to show you these. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you these first. So they are beautiful. Let's get rid of that because you can't really see them. It's really, really annoying when I do like face-to-face -face videos because my phone never focuses on anything other than me. But look at those, they're absolutely gorgeous. So they are sparkly gel polishes. And what I love about them is they come in pots. Um, I love a potted gel glitter because I just find them a lot easier to use. So they come in pots, they look like this. They're quite runny, so I'm trying not to uh, spill them anywhere. But yeah, so I got three colours. So there's, I've got a pink, a purple, and a green. There was lots of other colours. I may order some more in the future because, to be honest, I am absolutely in love with them. But something else within this video is sort of similar. So I'm basically, there is a reason that I ordered these three, but I'll explain that when I get to the next items. So that's number one. I really, really love those. Obviously, everything from AliExpress is super cheap as well, which makes me so much happier because I am so stingy. <laughs> So then we've got this BQAN double ended thing. I'm gonna just move the light because it's, um, it's pretty blinding, is that better? I don't know if this uh, lighting is gonna be awful, but I'm sorry if it is, it's one of those. So anyway, this is double ended. So half of it is a crystal picker. Is that what it's called? I actually don't know what it's really called and I keep calling it like a, a crystal picker upper and I'm like, that is not the word, like that is definitely not the word. But anyway, half of it picks up crystals and then the other half you can use as a dotting tool. Obviously this half is for moving the crystals around because you can't really do that with this end because it just sticks to it and you pick them back up again. So you put them down with this end, you move them where you want them with this one. Obviously you can use it as a dotting tool as well, which is brilliant. I love everything that has multiple uses. So that is stunning, I love that. I just love the way it looks as well to be honest in my drawer <laughs> and then this is the next thing so i don't know if anyone noticed but on my aliexpress haul part one i didn't do a part two it ended up being like a merge with a, an amazon haul because not everything arrived but I, <laughs> I didn't realize about this until someone commented and obviously i'd already done the video so i thought i best include this in this video so i can give you the extra information that thank goodness one of my subscribers give gave to me i can't remember who it was i'm really really sorry i can't shout them out but have a look at my Amazon, at my AliExpress part one haul and you'll see the comment from whoever it was that was kind enough to give me this information. So this is it, it's a stamper, it's like this, has a lid as well, which is fab obviously, everybody loves a lid. So you take the lid off and you've got a stamper on the top, it's really, really pretty, it's got crystals in this area. And then if you take off the middle section, it's two, so you get one on the inside and you can see through this one, which is fab, because that's what I was saying in the other video is that it's not ideal because you can't see through it because obviously this backing bit doesn't come off. It does come off, but it's pointless anyway, because obviously that one underneath. So yeah, you get two, a see-through one and a silicon coloured one. So I love that, that is brilliant. I loved it before I found that out, but now I really, really love it. So quick coffee break. Sorry. So <laughs> then my next one is these mini buffers. Um, these were in my most recent Amazon haul. I only literally put it up a few days ago, but they are so brilliant. I've only used one of them and that was literally to show you what they were like, like in the last video that I featured them in. 
but I got 50 and I'm pretty sure they were about two pounds something which is incredible um yeah so there's 50 in here and you get them for two pounds something which is absolutely crazy I wasn't really expecting them to have much grit on them I thought they'd be one of those things where you use it once and it's really rubbish and then by the time you get to the next nail it's just awful but it's not they're really really good and I thought for anyone that uses the same system as me for nail files and stuff like that which I am going to show you in this video is one of my must haves these would be perfect to fit in those they're not going to take up much space at all and then last but not least from AliExpress, obviously I buy a hell of a lot of stuff from AliExpress and I've got lots of hauls on here from there. So if you want to see everything else I've got from there, then do check out those hauls. Um, but I can't put everything in this video because it's already going to be crazy long with how many brands I'm including. So I've tried to narrow it down to my absolute favourites from each place. So this is my next one, it's this two container thing. So it's basically just got two halves where you can put whatever you want in. So at the moment in this one, I've got practice tips. So I can just have this on my desk during lockdowns and just grab the tips when I wanna do something. But then in this one, I keep my cotton pads in this half and then the nail clips for soak offs in this one. And that stays on my trolley next to me all the time. So yeah, they're really, really good for just storing little cute bits and bobs. I think they're really handy. So that was the last thing from AliExpress. So I'm now going to move on to the next place, which is Hobbycraft, just because the thing that I'm going to show you is taking up so much space and I just want to get out of the way. So the next thing is these paper pads. And these are, like I said, from Hobbycraft. I've got four different ones, but there is so many. And basically, I recommend these to anyone that does any sort of videos. Like if you do videos for IGTV or Reels on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, like absolutely any types of videos, these are brilliant as backdrops. So... I don't know if anyone's noticed, but since I've been using these, um, my videos are a lot brighter and for some reason my phone seems to focus on the nail more than the actual background because I've got scratches on my desk and stuff and bits and bobs get under my desk, like little bits of like glitter and stuff like that and then my phone basically just focuses on that instead of the nail, which is really unhelpful. But with these backgrounds, I don't know why, but it just doesn't do that anymore. So I've got the leopard print one. You can see all the different types that are inside this on the front. So they're all the different ones that are in there. So obviously I just pick which background I want depending on what um, what design I'm gonna do. So it just depends which one links the best. Then if I can't find one that's totally relevant, I've got this pastels one, which has also got glitter backgrounds in, so they'd be really cute for taking some photos with. But yeah, it's just really, really pastel. And then obviously there's the glittery ones, which are absolutely beautiful. And then last but not least, I've got the marble one, which I've used quite a lot because a plain white and black marble is pretty good as a background for absolutely anything you are taking a video of. So I really, really like this one. And then I do keep them as well. Like if I've used them and I didn't get any polish on them or ruin them or anything, I just literally just slide them back into the um, into the, the folder thing instead of wasting them. So that's really, really good. I absolutely love those. Recommend those to anyone. I'm just going to shove those there so they're out of the way. So next up, I'm going to do Amazon, I think, because they're the next biggest things. I want to get those out of the way. So you've probably seen these a thousand times over because I'm pretty sure every nail tech in the UK at least uses these. <laughs> they are the business card holders and they're absolutely perfect for decals or foils. Although I am going to show you something else that I use for foils. I don't use this for foils because they only hold so many and I've got a stupid amount of foils. So I'd have loads and loads and loads of these if I filled them with them. But I do use these for the decals that don't fit in something else that I'm going to show you. I'm going to move the light. It's no, there's no need, is there? It's not that dark. So yeah, I'm going to show you something else that I keep my bigger decals in. But for the smaller ones that don't really look right in a big holder, I keep them in here. This is my mainly my Christmas one, but I've got two. One with plain and one with Christmas. So next up from Amazon, I'm going to show you the foil thing now, just because I've mentioned it, so I might as well get out of the way. So this is what I keep my foils in. It is a playing cards holder, which is absolutely brilliant. And it holds so many. I've got so many spaces in here for more foils. But yeah, it holds a hell of a lot of foils and you can see everything nice and clearly. So a lot of places when you buy foils, they come in these little bags anyway. So it's super easy to just transfer them into these. Um, and then any that don't come in the bags, I do have actual bags that I've bought from Amazon as well to be able to use. So yeah, that's that. I got the black one, but there is different colours. So obviously you can get whatever you think suits your aesthetic better. I just got black because it matches those business card holders. So next up from Amazon, we've got these. These were also in a, I think I'm gonna have to shut this blind because 
it's really sunny today which is really strange because it's like snowy i'm gonna need the light back now we've got rid of that so anyway i got these which are dots so i will be popping these dots on top of my gel colors because i've now put them in a drawer if you've seen my most recent reorganization vlog um i decided to put my gels in a drawer instead of on the wall because i wanted all the glitters on the wall and it looks much brighter so i've got these i'm going to swatch them put pop them on top and i got a pack of 720 so there's plenty there the only annoying thing was is magpies gel polishes have like i think there's about 130 or 130 something in their whole collection which i've got and these come in packs of 120 or 720 but two packs of 120 would have been the same amount of 720 so i bought that many just because it was like better value um so obviously depending on how many you need you could get a 120 pack and pay a bit less but if you figure it out per dot it's still cheaper to get 700 but whatever anyway <laughs> so just need to keep having a drink because i'm talking so much my voice gets so like i don't know i just feel like i sound really grunty so next up is these these are chrome powders you've probably seen these a hundred times over as well i was really like tempted to buy these a while ago but i've got majority of magpies chromes and i just thought what's really the point of having all of these different colored chromes when i've probably got them in a different brand anyway then i thought you never have too many chromes so why not <laughs> so anyway i got these so that is how many come in this pack they are absolutely beautiful there is 22 Oh, he's on here 24 yeah 22 and i've literally only found one out of the 22 that doesn't chrome very well but you can just use that for putting on the tacky layer instead and having it as a different effect but they look absolutely beautiful it's not going to focus because my fat head is in the background but yeah i really really love those um so i got the pack of 22 but you can also get them in smaller packs as well with less colors so that is the amazon stuff out of the way i'm then gonna do i think i'm just gonna do willow academy just because it's super super quick so willow academy i actually recommend absolutely everything they sell <laughs> basically um because everything they do is just absolutely brilliant i really want to invest in their armrest but obviously i'm not working at the moment but as soon as i am that will be the next thing that i will get so i just wanted to go over a couple of the e5 bits that i use the most um in majority of my videos i do tend to say which ones i'm using at a time like when they are in my videos but i just want to go over the ones that i use the absolute most so basically if you were to buy just a few i'm going to tell you which ones you should get so if you do a lot of acrylic redesign i always use the green smoothie or the purple willow i've just realized that these actually need cleaning because i did my nails them yesterday and i haven't even tidied them up after but so this is the purple no, this is the green smoothie it's not going to focus i'm so sorry but yeah it's that type of shape it's obviously very coarse and then there is the purple willow these are both absolutely brilliant for acrylic redesigns you still can't see it but never mind um they are brilliant for acrylic redesigns i have got a redesign video on my channel of me using one of these bits if you want to see it in action definitely check that out it's absolutely amazing um and then i also wanted to mention the Oh, i don't know what it's called i think it's the anastasia but i use this all the time for prep along with this little cute bit as well i'm not sure if you can just about see what that looks like but yeah so i also bought the plinth as well to be able to keep them in um it's a little bit annoying because one of the bits my green smoothie is really really tall and to be able to fit the lid on i have to push it in really far and it takes me a really long time to actually get it out so i don't really tend to shut it properly i just rest it on top um but that's just me like it does work for most people and then they're sanding bands as well so they come in medium and fine and i think their mediums sometimes mix up a little bit so sometimes they're 180 grit and sometimes they're 150 but i don't know it depends i'm not sure why but i'm pretty sure i've bought them sometimes and there's sometimes one or the other but i don't mind which because i use the 240 grit ones for sanding the natural nail obviously no pressure um it's basically just like using a nail file you just have it on a really low rpm and then low pressure and then you've prepped your natural nail i just prefer to do that because the less i have to move my arm with a hand file the less pain i am in at the end of a really long day <laughs> so i use those and i use the 150 or 180 grit for refining afterwards if i need to if not i will just go over with the 240 again just to rough it up enough for gel polish if that's what i'm doing so that is willow academy done as well hmm. i feel like i'm getting through this quite well i'm really sorry i'm trying to keep up with drinking my coffee because if it goes too cold i won't be able to drink it i'll make me feel a bit sick which is weird because i like cold coffee I just don't like coffee that was hot when it goes cold. Does that make any sense? Anyone else like that? 
weird anyway so <laughs> i'm gonna move on to moira now everyone that watches my channel regularly and has seen majority of my stamping videos i always rave about moira i absolutely love this brand um they're just brilliant for absolutely everything i haven't actually got any of their stamping plates in this video mainly because in previous videos i've mentioned my favorites and stuff and i have like i think over 30 of their stamping plates and i couldn't pick my favorites although i can because the blossometry blossom blossometry <laughs> No idea how to say it. I think it's blossometry. Blossom blossometry. I don't know, but whatever that is, number two, <laughs> the second plate of that, I absolutely love it. That is definitely one of my favourites. But this is my favourite thing of all time on this planet. Anything to do with nails, this tops it. This is the best thing ever, ever. I love this stamper. So this is the Pixel. I think it's P lower capital P lowercase i XL because obviously it's the extra large one but I absolutely love this is my favorite one it picks up anything and places everything perfectly I've never ever had a problem with stamping at all with this one absolutely love it you need it if you stamp a lot next I've got my black and white polishes from Moira I actually sadly don't have any colored polishes from Moira because I use clear jelly stamper colored polishes because with the colored ones I use black and white a lot so I get the Moira ones because they're larger um but with colors I'd rather have a lot of small colors than a few larger pots larger bottles of colors so I actually invested a little while ago in a full in like a set I don't know what the sets were called but a couple of collections of clear jelly stamper ones so I've got like an array of colors and stuff um, and then as I run out of them, I will just replace them with Moira because I love Moira stamping, just everything to do with it. And then the last thing from Moira is this amazing product. I absolutely love this. So this is stamping gel polish. It's gel, so it has to be cured and it's for foil. I'm not sure if you could use it with chromes and stuff as well. I've never really tried it. You probably could. I don't see why not because obviously for a foil to stick, it must be sticky. Um, but yeah, so you pop this on as you would normally with stamping. Like you put it on your plate, you scrape it off, you pick it up, you put it on your nail and then you cure it and then you put foil on top. It's absolutely brilliant. I love this and it can create such amazing designs. So if you don't have it, you need this product. There is a normal one as well that's not a gel, but I just like the gel version. I don't have any reason for that. I just do. So obviously whatever suits you best, you can go ahead and pick whichever one you prefer. So I'm just going to do a real quick one with this. So this is maybe Pro Tools nail file system. And basically they're boxes. I can't show you the bottom because it's got one of my client's names on it. But this is what they look like. There's a bit of info on the back. You can get them with the files in. I don't because I don't get my files from Navy because in all honesty, I just find them a little bit expensive. So I don't bother with that. But you can buy the boxes on their own and it's absolutely brilliant. You can get discount codes as well from the ambassadors for Navy. So definitely do that before you check out. And basically in here, I keep two files, usually a low grit and a higher grit. So maybe a 240 for a natural nail um, shaping and then a 180 or 150 for a, an enhancement shaping and then I have a pen and a cuticle pen and obviously those mini buffers you could use those in here as well so I've got those absolutely love them I've literally got two massive drawers full for every client that I've got has one of these boxes it's brilliant storage and everything just looks so much neater I have them all facing up so the name is on this side they're all facing up like this on their side my drawers hold so many and I can see everyone's name straight away so I don't have to search through anything to find which client I'm looking for so I love, love those. Um, okay, so next up I'm going to do decals, I think. So enchanted decals. I'm not actually doing enchanted decals for the decals themselves. As much as I love them, that is not what I've chosen as my favourite from there. So this is what I've chosen. I absolutely love this. Obviously, you don't have to get this from enchanted decals. I just love her logo and I've got enchanted decals in here so it matches. Um, so I've got my enchanted decals decals in here and I've also got magpie stickers in here as well and then nearer to the back after all the magpie stickers I've got stickers from other places and then at the very back we've got oh, flexi tapes in all different colours so I've got all of like one colour in here and then all of the golds together all of the rainbow ones together all of the purples all the blacks and stuff like that so I really, really love this for storage of that, of like the larger decals that don't fit in those smaller business card holders. This is absolutely brilliant. So I love that. Obviously you could buy that without the Enchanted Decals design on. You could probably even buy it and put your own logo on, which would be pretty cool. But I love Enchanted Decals anyway, so having their logo on my items is not a problem for me. 
but next up is who i actually recommend for the decals so like i just mentioned no shade to enchanted decals i love her decals kelly is amazing at what she does she is also an amazing nail technician but recently at the end of november a lovely business approached me and asked if i'd mind if she sent me some um decals which obviously is just so very kind at the time we were in a lockdown story of our lives i think in the uk <laughs> but at the time we we're in a lockdown so do you know what it was just such a lovely treat to have these golden decals come through the door and bless her heart she has been sending me them ever since without even asking she just pops them in the post for me and i get this gold envelope through the door and it just makes my day i absolutely love them she has not in any way shape or form asked me to add her into this video i have not told her i am going to like it's nothing like that i'm not trying to promote her i am lit if i do then do you know what she deserves it because these products are amazing so i'm more than happy for you to go and buy some but i am doing this off my own back because i absolutely love them so i just wanted to show you a few of the designs that she's done so obviously the ones that she sent me back in november were for december so they're all mainly christmas decals so i'm not going to show you those simply just because obviously we're in january now and no one's really going to be buying christmas decals at the moment but she did send me her new year decals so i thought we might as well include those because now is the time to buy new year decals because it's new year <laughs> so we've got here we've got some it's called wildcat whispers i think i might actually turn you around for this one so you can actually see what they look like the problem is you can't actually like have my desk as the background because everything is on it so i'm just going to quickly show you them like this so there's wildcat whispers there's by by the light of the moon obviously i haven't got around to using them yet because i don't have clients at the moment because i'm closed so there's one stroke leaves abstract elements two twinkle twinkle metallic stars one stroke floral 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 whatever you say elements two i love those because my favorite color is blue and purple so they're perfect i actually love how much effort she puts into these as well because even the backing card matches the actual decals so they're all different colors because they match what's actually on the decals which is just brilliant i love little touches like that so we've got one stroke floral elements one and then abstract elements one which i can't wait to use these they look really fun so yeah that's what i've got from nail decals i will show you quickly just very very quickly some of the christmas ones just for you to get an idea of what things she does and obviously when next christmas comes around which if this year goes as fast as last year does i'm sure it won't be that long before it's here again then you'll know where to go for your decals i did use a couple of these for a demo on instagram of how to apply decals so definitely go and check that out it's on my igtv i think and then this one which is really really cute so yeah she sent me all of those so so very kind so that's those so the brand is nail decals by design obviously like i said i will link below anyway so next I'm going to do Sparkle Supplies, I think, because they're nearest to me and I am so lazy. <laughs> so it goes without saying that every single glitter from Sparkle Supplies I recommend because they are all beautiful. But the main, absolute main must-haves from Sparkles are definitely Foil Me. I absolutely love this, like literally love it. I don't know how I ever did foils without this stuff. So it's a foil gel, which means it needs curing. It's beautiful consistency. It's not really, really runny. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not like mega runny, but it's not really, really thick and gloopy. So you can use it like with a nail art brush instead of having to literally just do full coverage with it, which is really, really good. Um, and I just love it. It makes foil application so much easier. I have already done a full coverage foil video with it. The blue foil, like the marble one. So if you want to see those, definitely have a look. So here I'm going to show you these the other way around. Well, actually no I won't. I'm just going to put a little clip. I'm going to move over a sec because I'm going to put a little clip here of these. Because they're absolutely beautiful. Obviously you can't see them from how I'm sitting. So these basically are crystals. They do all sorts of different colours. Honestly, they're my go-to place for crystals now. They're absolutely beautiful. And that's not because I'm an ambassador, because it's not, because obviously before I've done so many hauls from this company before I became an ambassador. I only bumped into Sparkle Supplies in November. I'm so, so glad I did because my collection has grown massively since then, um, because basically they're just amazing. They do glitters that I've not seen anywhere else before, like mixes. And their crystals are so reasonably priced and you can get so many different ones. So I'm just going to show you a brief 
overview. Okay, we're gonna turn around again. So I've done my, I might as well show you the crystals while I'm in this position anyway, but I've done my swatches on the bottom so you can literally see what they look like if they were capped and top coated and all smooth and then you can see what they look like raw as well which I think is brilliant. I'm not going to go too in depth about the glitters because, so that's the Sweet Collection. Hold on, let's just find the Sweet Collection. The Sweet Collection are in the middle, these coloured ones, and then this end are the Glamour Collection, and then over this end we've got the Enchanted Collection, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to do a full-on swatch video of of the glitters from there, so I'm not going, that's why I've not put them in my must-haves, mainly because I've got a whole other video planned around those. Um, and then obviously the crystals, this is what they look like, they are beautiful. I've not even got light actually shining on these, the light's quite far away, so that just shows how amazing those crystals are might as well stay in this position for these as well but they're still fo tips so to be quite honest obviously i am an ambassador for them so i am going to promote them because that is literally my job but i only chose to do that job because i love the brand but i will say you can get these stiletto tips from multiple places you don't have to get them from sparkles i will continue to get them from sparkles just because i broke the bloody case that is so annoying but just because they are so reasonably priced and you can pay so much for these types of tips elsewhere they are quite long um, but they are absolutely perfect. I did mention in a haul video from Sparkles that I used to get these from Glitter Planet. The only problem is they changed them and I don't like the new shape. So this is why I bought them some Sparkles to see if they'd got the ones that I used to use before. These are the ones I used to use and I'm really, really happy that I found them. Obviously, with the 15% off code, which is BMB15, which will have been on the screen the whole time I've been talking about Sparkles, they're a hell of a lot even cheaper than what they are on the website every anyway. So definitely worth it. Okay, so next up I'm going to do Tia's Beauty because I love Tia's Beauty, I love everything she sells, I love the woman that runs the business, they're just beautiful people, like do you know, you know what, that's a big thing for me, like for a brand's like owners and stuff to be nice people, that means a lot to me because you know you're going to get good customer service and they're just, yeah, who doesn't want to be a part of a nice people group? <laughs> That made no sense, but never mind, we'll go with it. So, obviously, it was very, very difficult for me to narrow down what I like from Tia's Beauty because I just have that much stuff and I absolutely love everything, so it's hard. But these are a definitely must-have. These are the holographic um, dust. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, so I've got one here just as an example. This is what they look like in the little pot. This is the rose one. It's beautiful. So, yeah, they're the dusts. You definitely need the holographic dusts in your life. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. So that's number one. Then, secondly, is their acrylics. And, yes, I'm saying acrylics as in you need all of them <laughs> because you do. I don't have all of them, which is really sad, but I'm, I would like to say I'm nearly there, but I'm not. There is a hell of a lot of acrylic that they sell. They are all amazing and must-haves. I've got lots of them, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but not as many as I want, which is the whole lot. So I am saving, I'm not, but when I do have money that I can save, I will be saving for them all. But basically I recommend all of them. So you need all the shimmers, you need all the plain colors and you need all the glitters. The pre glitters are absolutely stunning. I've got a couple here just as a quick, why won't it focus? Honestly, it really winds me up doing these types of videos. Why won't it just work with me? I don't know if you can see how sparkly they are, but they're absolutely stunning and they're all the same they're all equally stunning so you need them all so anyway i've got so many of them these are just the pinks and purples but obviously there is just so many colors and i just i genuinely think you need them all they are absolutely gorgeous so i just wanted to show you what the pots look like that they come in just chucked one of my must haves on the floor which is brilliant so this is a pre glitter and this is a colored powder obviously they come in the same pots they are slightly different in price i think the pre glitters are six pound 95 for a pot which is 14 grams i think yeah 14 grams in both of them so these are 5.95 which are the colored powders and then these are 6.95 which are the pre glitters you need all of them they're just amazing but obviously that's without my 10 percent off discount code because i'm an ambassador for tears as well so you will get an extra 10 percent off those already amazing prices i don't know if you've done a lot of shopping around for acrylic colors but those prices are insane and i must say with the normal colored i literally have not found one color that marbles yet not one 
crazy i know just make sure you don't use them too wet because especially if you're transferring from a specific brand i used to use glitter bells i've used a few now but i used to use glitter bells as well for about a year and they're a really wet acrylic you need to use a wet ratio with those do not use that ratio with these and then wonder why you're getting marbling because <laughs> that's not the ratio you need to use so anyway just use it a barely like you know just a pretty dry bead and work with it and just see what works best for you but yeah don't don't swatch them wrong and then think they're rubbish because it's not rubbish you're doing it wrong so we've got here i think i should have probably looked before i did this video but i'm pretty sure these are called the tubby glitter brushes i absolutely love them they've got a slightly i'm showing you the next thing already look they've got a slightly angled top and basically i have like i think i have two or three of these i use for different things like one of them's for like flakes and stuff like that and then the other one's for like chromes and stuff i've got a little hiccup coming but yeah you can use these for chromes like literally just pick your chrome up and just rub it on and it just works absolutely perfectly i love this brush i literally use it for majority of things like if i can use it i will grab it because it's brilliant i think they're about three pound fifty i think they're three pound forty nine but that's without the ten percent as well so you can get cheaper and then next up is this brush i use this all the time especially when i'm using loose glitters and dust and chromes and anything like that i just use this to just brush off any excess it's so soft so it will get any excess off but it won't take anything off your nail because it's not rough enough to be able to do that so this is also a must have and it looks beautiful because it's multicolored it's even more multicolored than when i bought it now because i've used it that much <laughs> but you know it's really cute so you definitely need that i've just realized i forgot something from amazon which is really annoying but yeah, I think that was it for tears. That was their my absolute must haves. But like I said, you need everything from the website because why not? So anything. Anyway, I forgot to mention these Amazon little pots. I've mentioned these so many times in different videos. I think these are 10 gram pots. I used to buy five grams, but some glitters are more than that. So it was just annoying. So basically, I just use these for any glitters or crystals or anything that is unbranded like if i've just got random pots of stuff in my drawers and i don't really use it i just take it out the original pot and put it in these so at least then i don't have lots like especially aliexpress stuff as well like i always take them out and put them in these pots so instead of having lots of random stuff that looks different to each other and then get so many things that all look the same even though they're all from different places i've got loads of glitters in here as well i think some of those are from the ninja nail fairy some of them are from this one's definitely from smiley glitter store so yeah i keep those in these pots which i will also hopefully remember to link below oh, i can't breathe anymore right i think we've got one more brand left let me just have a look around no two more brands left i'm going to show you this one first because i mentioned it earlier and i forgot about it so next one is brill bird and these are their glamour gels this is glamour gel eight um it's not this one in particular that i'm saying you need i'm saying you need them all again because i am one of those people um but they're just absolutely stunning i'm going to turn you around so you can see how sparkly these are okay so obviously this needs stirring but i'm not going to because i'm not going to actually be using it i'm just showing it to you so this is glamour gel nine it's a beautiful like rosy gold color it looks more orange in the video which is really annoying but let me just find the swatch for it so this is number eight i said didn't i so this is the color of it it's absolutely beautiful the swatches are gorgeous i'm going to show you all of the swatches just do bear in mind that they are quite messy so definitely keep the lids on nice and tight and also um if you just i just choose certain brushes that you're not really bothered about and use those just for the glamour gels i've done that with some amazon brushes just because they're really difficult to get out of your brushes so this is what they look like they are all in order so you can no they're not oh i lied i'm so sorry wait are they yeah they are so yeah just goes the opposite way than i thought so we've got number one hold on let's, let's have a little focus one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and that is all of the colors that they do in the glamour gels if they bring any more out i will absolutely be on it and getting them because they are beautiful these are the ones that i was saying are pretty similar to the aliexpress ones let me just grab one so if you can see there look they are quite a likeness they are slightly different consistency and slightly different colors as well they look really similar on camera but they're not they are slightly different um the ones from aliexpress are more like actual glitters 
I'm going to show you them now just while I can because obviously I didn't earlier. But they're more like actual glitter pieces, whereas the ones from Brill Bird are more like actual like flakes with colour. So that's really, really nice to have the different ones. So they're definitely on my must-haves. Absolutely love those. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got Magpie Beauty. So <clears throat> majority of the things from Magpie I recommend. Okay, that coffee's got to that stage now where I can't drink anymore. Ooh, gross. Anyway, <laughs> so majority of the Magpie things I've got to show you are gel related because obviously I use Magpie gel colours and stuff like that. So the gel colours are one of the things that I recommend. Not this specific colour, but all of them. The gel colours are perfect. They are so creamy. The consistency is stunning. The pigment is amazing. They are so pigmented. There's only a handful of colours probably not even that many that are not perfect coverage in two coats and that's because they're not supposed to be like come what may good golly miss molly um i think it's caribbean sea or aquamarina i can't remember one of those types of colors um i can't quite remember all of them but there's literally just a few like maybe four five maybe at a push um but that's because they're not meant to be so you can actually use them as sheer colors come what may i use majority of the time because it is a sheer color so sometimes it's good to have the sheer ones i've then got give me strength rosa i'm not recommended just rosa any of the give me strengths is perfect they're not majorly colored like the colored ones and they are really really nice they look very natural these are perfect for people that are not allowed nails for their jobs but they want to be naughty <laughs> because if you put this on it'll keep the natural nails strong and they'll look beautiful and natural and no one will know they've got anything on especially if you put a matte top coat over the top so that's the second thing you can use give me strength for so many things you can use it under color for extra strength you can use it over color for extra strength you can use it over glitters to make them smooth like it's perfect absolutely brilliant you definitely need it in your collection if you use magpie next up is the gel paints i use these majority of the time like i think pretty much every nail art video i do i'm using the magpie gel paints they are absolutely beautiful consistency they do have the gel plus now as well which are thicker consistency so if you for some reason find those ones are too thin which i doubt you will because they are brilliant um you can get the plus ones as well now next up it's not even open yet it's brand new and i'm not opening it until i reopen us so i'll use it all before anyone comes back is build me up so i use this in the bottles and in the pots it's absolutely beautiful to work with it self levels perfectly um and yeah so basically you just make sure you need to use it properly like i see so many people all over different selling pages and makeup makeup and nail tech pages that are moaning like oh i can't get build me up to stick and everyone recommends magpie it doesn't work for me and all this and it's because they're not using it correctly like you have to use your product correctly before you say whether it works for you or not so with this you're supposed to build it up in three layers so the first one's meant to be relatively thin almost like a base coat because you don't have to use a base coat with this so use the first layer as your base coat and then your second layers are the ones that you use to build your apex and your strength for the nail so obviously they're going to be thicker it's not meant for just putting a huge amount on and then curing it because it probably won't cure properly and it's not meant to be in really really thin layers either so definitely use it correctly and i can almost guarantee that you'll get on really well with it it's absolutely amazing i love it next up is my go-to brushes from magpie so i've got the duster brush which looks absolutely disgusting <laughs> is gross but it works so well it's really really thick it's not a pretty brush to look at but that is not what it's for it's a it's a usable brush like you need it to do things so it's perfect it's called the duster brush and it's it's brilliant it just dusts off any excess like if you need to dust off excess with more like oomph and not just a nice fluffy brush like this one then it's really really good for getting right in the side walls and everywhere and just getting off as much as the excess as you can so i definitely recommend that and then this is my holy grail you can't even see it because it's that thin there we go so this is the magpie striper brush it's a must have if you do hand painted nail art it's absolutely brilliant i don't really do a hell of a lot of hand painted but when i do i reach for this every single time i know that it's a striper brush but i don't just use it just for striping i use it for absolutely literally everything that i do um it's just brilliant it's so good and it's so so easy to draw straight lines with this as well um yeah it's the perfect length and the perfect thickness it's absolutely brilliant so yeah i use that all the time you definitely need that if you don't have it already and then last but not least out of absolutely everything i've got on the table i have one more thing to show you no two more things to show you after this because they're things that i'm using to film so they're like my filming must-haves but this is the last thing that is on my desk and this is the magpie full on tips they're absolutely brilliant i've got so many posts of them on my instagram so if you want to see what they look like then definitely head over there 
or just type into Instagram like hashtag full on tips magpie or something like that. I'm sure they'll come up. They are absolutely amazing. So they make life so easy. This is what they look like. So these are the almond ones. They are an absolutely beautiful shape. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but they are absolutely stunning. I could put one on my nail can I? because I don't have anything on at the moment on this hand. This one doesn't fit any of my nails. So I'm going to use it anyway. So that's the length of that one. It's a beautiful almond shape. Obviously, you can shorten them as well if they're a little bit too long for you. If they're a little bit too short, they do have longer ones as well. So I have the almond and the tapered square, like the normal length ones. And then they've also bought out recently longer ones of both of those as well. I think there's a long stiletto now and then a long tapered square as well which is brilliant obviously for people who want longer nails i don't really do a lot of long nails so those ones work perfectly for me in, in fact most of the time i have to take those down <laughs> so the last but not least things is i'm going to see if i can get this in the shot here so this is oh dear so this is my tertial lamp from ikea please excuse how disgusting it is obviously i've not been working for a while and i haven't really been keeping up with the cleaning of the room when it's just me inside but it moves around in all sorts of different directions you can see how bright that light bulb is it's insane everyone keeps going on about this amazon bulb with a daylight bulb and stuff like that i'm sorry but bulbs are bulbs <laughs> it doesn't matter where you get them from if you get the right wattage and things like that the bulb is literally the same i think i got mine from wilco's and it's literally the exact same as the amazon one but not like seven pound but yeah super super bright it's amazing so i have that on my desk i use that for <coughs> that coffee is coming back to me but i use that for filming and um for on my desk like i'm doing nails as well and then the last thing i need to take you off because it is my stand that i'm using right now it is absolutely incredible and you need it so just one second okay so apologies for the dirty window in the background we don't use this window because as you can see it's behind a shed but anyway so this is my must-have filming equipment it is super super easy to use you can use it back and forwards up and down you can spin this thing like you can have it like upright so you can see down onto a desk you can put it downwards so you can for some reason do it like that i don't know why you would but there you go um you can have it in so many different ways it's brilliant it has this little stretch thing here so you can put any phone in it because it stretches and basically it's just an absolute must have i love it i couldn't do my videos without it so yeah you just need it if you want to record videos it's brilliant i've heard a lot of good things about the archon mount but to be quite honest i'm quite stingy and if i don't have to spend like 90 pound on a holder and i can spend like 15 20 i'm gonna do it so that is me done for this video um i really really hope you enjoyed it I really enjoyed actually filming it. I've been putting it off for quite a while because I knew that there'd be so much stuff in it and I know that it's going to be really, really long and I'm so sorry. I don't know whether this is the type of video that you guys like watching because I've never done it on my channel before. Um, to be quite honest, obviously I watch a lot of nail techs on YouTube like in loads of different videos, but to be honest, I avoid the must-have videos. <laughs> Because of two reasons like one they're always always really long and i don't like sitting and watching someone just sit and talk which is absolutely fine if you don't either obviously if you don't you probably haven't got to this stage of the video anyway and then secondly they make me buy things and i don't need any help with that i do that plenty enough on my own so anyway i hope you enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching especially if you made it to the end like oh my goodness i don't know how you've managed it but thank you so much if you have please give it a like if you do like this type of video and then obviously i could maybe do them every couple of months or when i find new things I could do it like that um but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll be back really soon bye